Hello again, my amazing mathematicians. Ready to move on in our math book today? We're going to be on lesson 10.8, which is practice adding using strategies. So we've been adding all different kinds of ways. So to this section kind of reviews those ways and shows you how to solve whatever problem it is based on the best strategy to use, the one that's easier for you, the one that works the best. So this one is solve 36 plus 7 using any of the strategies we've learned. So let's think about our strategies that we have learned. We've learned our make a 10 strategy where we draw it out and when we have 10 ones that we can make turn it into a 10. We know we can count on to add Right? We always know that when we say 36, 37, 38, 39, right? So we would count up. We can break apart numbers to add. We can draw it out. We can use an open number line. Um, so there's lots of different ways we could do it. And there's no right or wrong way, right? As long as you're getting the correct answer, the strategy you use is basically up to you. So for this one, 36 plus 7. I can draw it out. So I'll show you what that one would look like. So I draw my 36, my three tens, and my seven ones. Let me make these tens a little bigger. <laughs> Plus seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here I drew my picture. And now I can also use another strategy, which is my make a 10. Because I know here, just from looking at these circles, that I have more than 10. So I'm going to count out 10 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, I drew too many. 6. <laughs> and then 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to take these 4 plus all of these ones. And they're going to go and they're going to make a 10. Right? So then when I go to add, I now have 1, 2, 3, 4 10s. And 1, 2, three ones left over. Right? So we could do it that way. Could also use an open number line. I can put my 36 there. And then I can just fill in the rest of the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I can just fill them in. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Either way, it gets the right answer, right? So it doesn't really matter which strategy you use, just as long as you know that there are different strategies to use. Okay. If we flip over to page 586, you'll see the boy at the top of the page. He's saying to find 25 plus 17 in different ways. I used blocks. I made a 10. You can draw 10s and 1s to find 25 plus 17. You can add them on an open number line like we just did on the next on the other page. Right? Number one they did for you. Number two we'll do together. So this is 48 plus 10. Oh, I like plus 10. Because I can do that in my head, can't I? Yep, I can. Because I know that 10 more, 10 more. So the only digit I'm going to change here is the tens place. Right? So 48, 10 more than that is 58. And as a drawer, explain what you did. Mm, in my head. In my head. 10 more, however you want to word it. Or maybe you wanted to do a picture. And then you have your tens. One, two, three, four, five tens, eight ones. You get the same answer. But if you did it that way, you'd say, draw a picture or make 10. Okay, so for page 587, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to solve them any way you choose. And then they ask you to just explain what you did. So if you draw a picture, that explains it. I know you drew a picture, right? You don't need to draw a picture and then write, drew a picture. You can just show your picture. Or if you do an open number line, so when it says to draw or explain, you can just use your picture that you draw and show how you did it. On page 588, you have some word problems. So the same thing, they're asking you to solve two-digit addition problems, and you can solve them using any strategy that we just talked about. It doesn't matter which way you do it. Then you're going to go on, you're going to do the homework and practice section, which looks just like the pages we just did together. On page 589, there is another little explanation up at the top. 
And then you're going to be solving those in the boxes any way that you choose. With the word problems on the back, same exact thing. Reading the word problems, taking your two numbers, and figuring out how you're going to solve them to figure out the sum, which is the answer to a plus problem. All right, good luck. If you need any help, just let me know, and I'll be happy to walk you through it.